Hello friends, welcome back. In today's video we are going to see how to use SPIFS that is Serial Peripheral Interface Flash File Systems to store the data in ESP32. SPIFS is a lightweight file system created for microcontrollers with a flash chip, which is connected by SPI bus, like the ESP32 flash memory. It provides an efficient way to store and retrieve data on these devices, making it easier to develop IoT applications that require local data storage. SPIFS is used in conjunction with an embedded web server or other microcontroller software to access the data stored in the file system. In today's video we are going to see how to store the data in the ESP32 flash memory using SIF. These are the methods we will be using to store and retrieve the data. In a file systems, we use following functions or methods. .list dir to list all directories. mkdir to create directory. Read file to read a specific file. Write file to write to a file, this overwrites the content already present in the file. Append file to append content to a file, use this when you want to add to the existing content, not overwrite it. Rename file to change the name of a file. Delete file to delete a file. You can see the example given in Arduino for SPIF as shown on the screen. You can go through the code as given in this example. But we will use a new file example today. This is the file code we will be referring to. Include fs.h and spiffs.h files in the code. Let us see the setup part. Initialize the serial port. Initialize the spiffs. If not mounted then print error. After mounting spiffs try to create the directory using function. spiffs.mkdir and give the name as my dir to the directory. After this create the file in this directory using the function. spiffs.open and open the file in write mode. The file name is file.txt. Write data hello, spiffs in the file by using the function file.println. You can use function file.write as well. Now open the file file.txt in read mode and read the contents of the file using functions file.available and file.read and print the data on serial port. Let us append some data in the file. For that open the file in append mode and write the data appended text to the file using function file.println. Now read the file again to check the appended data. Now we will check the file system directory by calling the function list dir. This is the function where the directory structure is retrieved and contents of the directory are shown on serial port. The text file file.txt is renamed as no file.txt using the function spiffs.rename. Again the file structure is checked to see contents of the directory. Next we will delete the renamed file no file.txt by using the function spiffs.remove. Again the file structure is checked to see contents of the directory. Which will show empty directory. Now it is time to compile and download the code. Connect the your ESP32 board to PC or laptop. Select the board and port. Go to sketch and click on upload. The serial monitor shows. The directory is created successfully. File is created. The data hello, spiffs is written to the file. And read successfully. The file content is append by the text appended text. The list dir shows. Listing directory, slash. File, file.txt size, 31. The file is renamed successfully and no file.txt is shown the list directory structured. Finally the no file.txt is deleted successfully. And directory structure is empty now. That's it for the day. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching the video. If you like this video then please hit like button. Please share this video with your friends. And do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks again and have a good time.